<sighs> All right. Got a pump. Damn it! Why did I send out rock? Totally should have sent out scissors. Bahas and Soji should be going grocery shopping, not me. Whose idea was it to do rock paper scissors anyway? Please yes. stop! Hmm? No, let me go! Stop complaining, little lady. That's right. Just be quiet and do what we tell you. If you don't, we'll hurt you. You don't want that now, do you? Stop! Somebody, please help me! Give it up already. Everyone's just ignoring you. No! Hey, you creep. Get your filthy hands off her. Huh? Who the hell are you? I'm really pissed off. That's who. Thanks to this useless rock. Are you giving a slip, you bastard? Stay out of this! Rock, paper, scissors, go! <laughs> oh, damn it! I'll remember this! Thank you so much. You saved me. I wasn't trying to save you. I was just blowing off some steam. <laughs> At least I finally won with rock. <laughs> you're dressed like you're on a journey. Are you traveling alone? Yes. You gotta protect yourself when you're on your own. If you can't do that, you shouldn't travel by yourself. I'm sorry, but I... Huh? Uh, no. Um... Uh, Are you hungry? Uh, yes. Um, I don't really know anything about this town. Do you know where I can get something to eat? Oh. This place's ramen is so good. Of course. That's why I brought you here. Do you like fish cakes too? Yes, I do. Then you can have mine. Again. Thank you very much. Those stupid swirly fish cakes are the only thing I don't like about this place's ramen. Why is that? The swirls make me dizzy. I can't stare at them without feeling like I'm gonna hurl. Oh, they just did a Naruto reference. I can't believe it. <laughs> they just did a Naruto reference. thanks. Are you serious? They did a Naruto reference. Get the fuck out of here. Why did they do a Naruto reference? That's my favorite. It always tastes good, but it tastes even better after a Seriously, man. Are you sure it's okay if you treat me to this? You paid for the ramen, so now we're even. <laughs> What's so funny? You remind me of my big brother. Your big brother? Do I look like him? Oh no, not at all. He's a very serious looking person. What's that supposed to mean? That you have the same blunt attitude as him. Huh, that's so. Thanks. I'd like you to have this. An amulet? I made medicine from boiled fairy flowers and poured it in this amulet. My brother is a warrior, and I gave that to him just in case he ever got wounded. But he said he didn't need it. You should try giving it to him again. That'd be better than giving that amulet to me. That's impossible. I remind you of your brother, right? Trust me, he'll take it if you keep bugging him about it. He's just being shy is all. No. That's not it. Huh? I can't give this to my brother. He's no longer with me. Huh? He was killed by a fencer. What do you mean? My brother was a fencer who worked for the Dorfa Corporation before he died. Dorfa? Emily, what was your brother's name? Apollonius. <laughs> Dang. Thank you for oh, everything. Yeah. Are you leaving now? Yes. I have to avenge my brother's death. Do you really have to do that? My brother loved the sight of cherry blossoms. We used to view them together every year. He was my only family. My parents died when I was a baby, so he had to raise me himself. He was stern and reserved. But I never once doubted his love for me, so I was still really happy. But now, I can't go and look at the cherry blossoms with him anymore. I hate my brother's killer. I hate him more than I've ever hated anything. And I swear I'll kill him myself one day. Until I've avenged my brother's death, my journey will never end. Emily. Take care of yourself, Fang. Uh -huh.
Mm -mm. Wow. Damn. Oh, I got a special sidetrack by a video. Some girl got knocked the fuck out. Anyway. Oh, good timing. We're heading out, Fang. Heading out? Where? To the Kavari Desert. According to Aaron's memories, that is where the Faith Drop can be found. Once we have the Faith Drop, we can finally revive the Goddess. What? Is that true? Yeah. We need to beat Dorfa to the punch before they can react and revive the Goddess. How does that sound, Fang? Yeah, sure, I guess. Fang, my boy. Did something happen? Your face looks rather pale. It's nothing. I'm just in a bad mood from being saddled with grocery shopping. The sooner we leave, the sooner we'll get this finished. Let's hurry up and go, guys. So, since they pretty much already spoiled that we're going to get a, a Polyonius uh, as a teammate, I wonder if they're going to have to revive him with the goddess power or something. Here. about me but this is nothing i just need to keep doing my best and everything will be all right please lend me your strength too kiwi oh uh, my god he came with an act like himself lately hasn't been acting like himself lately then what's going on is only he's not eating as much as he used to i wonder if he's falling in love with someone you unhappy are you jealous of course not 
that that boy is reckless, impulsive, and rushes into things without thinking. Basically, he's stupid. Precisely. I worry constantly about some manipulating Jezebel. Oh, <laughs> you're a little old detective. I can't, I can't help it. Aren't you all worried about your partners falling in love one day? Huh? Should I fall in love? You know, I've never actually thought about that. I'm pretty sure you won't ever need to think about that. <laughs> I really want Harley to meet a dependable man or something. You just want her to meet someone so you can speak your choice with, don't you? That's also true. <laughs> and what about you, Aaron? I was trying to avoid calling it to myself. What do you think? I really care if they fall in love with you. Did your voice just crack? Hey, what's going on here? What are you guys standing around here for? I hear that you've been going out by yourself lately. Where have you been going? It, don't be so direct. I haven't, haven't mentally prepared myself yet. I've been going to this new diner. They've got this. Oh, wow. I've been wandering off to go eat dinner. I'm right. I barely ate the whole day. So I just, just so I can stuff my face later. People are so impressed today that they started crying. And it was so delicious. Textbook example of misplaced priorities. All I can really say is, should have known. Hmm. Did, did we just get a new. Let me see. Get a new fairy? Oh, we did. And I'm glad my memories are returning, but I'm starting to hurry. Don't worry about it. Things will be fine as long as playing the person is around. I'm the man who cuts through fate. And you're right. I'm with you, all my words just gonna float away. Aw. So sweet. Hey. What's up? Look bummed out about something. Be honest, no, it's nothing. Please forget it. How well the God is how amazing. There's so many things I want to ask Erin. Where is she? I don't know. Ah, she's the only one who can scratch my research. Bitch, I have to do something. I need to see her right now. What's up? What time? I'm not going to get excited about anything. Doing something neat. Just deal with it. You should learn how to get excited about an empty stomach. Then, when you do it later, it will taste that much better. What in the world was Sherman doing at such a crucial moment? Maybe he ran off somewhere. Hey, I don't think he ran off. I can't put my finger on it, please. He was quite he was suspicious. Fane, do you have a second? I think my Goldie kids is going through a rebellious phase. Really, he doesn't seem rebellious to me. That's because whenever he, whenever something happens, he goes straight to me instead of me. He clearly, he's clearly being rebellious. Fighting strong opponents has a point for weakness to light. That is why you have to come to me for training, correct? Huh, training? We don't need to do that. I'm plenty strong. There's no need to feel embarrassed. I commend your decision to study under me. He's not listening to me at all. He's pimping and taking a liking. He's looking forward to telling more of his stories. Seriously, no thanks. Hmm, he's curious, all right. So this weird allies. It would be nice if you could spare some time to listen to him. Warning, warning, emergency, emergency. This should be combat protocol. Whoa, whoa, what the hell? Pestilent insect has appeared. Combat mode is about to commence. Wow. Warning, everyone. Uh, nobody's here. Strange. I'll go for a walk. Uh, it's actually kind of boring. There isn't anything interesting here. <laughs> That's Hey, Sherman. Coincidence, what are you doing? Stopping as well. I was just bored, so I decided to walk around. Please forgive me. But the sale is ending soon. I must be going. Okay, so you hear that much about discounts, huh? Hey, you there. You dress like a fancy lad, aren't you? So, you think so? I'm a clothes. I ain't talking to you. I'm talking about boy. The fancy boy over there. I don't know which rich family you're a part of, but you ain't hurt for money, are you? Why don't you donate something for us less fortunate? 
you're wasting your time here. You're better off just letting us go. Hold on. Hold on. You don't gotta be scared. Come on now. Oh yeah. What the hell? Let's never lay your filthy hands on me. Something like you that took my sister from me. Hey, come on. That's enough. Let's get out of here. Don't you think you went a little far with those two bit th thugs? You're right. I'll be more careful from now on. I've noticed before, you care. You're kind. You're a clean freak. And then you get really mean with jerks like them. And you mentioned your sister just now. Do you want to maybe talk about it? I once had an older sister named Iris. Really? She was so beautiful and so kind. And she was frail. She almost never went outside. She was so innocent. She thought the outside world was filled with beauty. My sister was completely pure, and of course I loved her. So I lied to her about the world. What did you do today, Sherman? Please tell me everything. Well, I went to the ocean with some friends, and passing traveler gave us a ride in his carriage, so we had plenty of time to have fun. I caught a ride on the back of a dolphin who took me to a distant island. That sounds wonderful. I hope I can get better soon so I can go swimming with the dolphins. But isn't it dangerous to accept rides from strangers? My books always talk about all kinds of terrifying kidnappings. Oh, none of that is true. The world full of kind people with lovely nature. My trip to the ocean was completely Of course, I always made up stories I thought to make her happy. Just wanted the world that my sister lived in to be beautiful and perfect. One day, she just disappeared. She had run off with a man who came to our house often. Searched everywhere, but Iris was nowhere to be found. A few years later, I became offensive by... Then I had all but given up on my sister. Suddenly, I was reminded, reunited with her in the most unexpected of places. I had been asked to clear out abandoned in near, my, near a busy mountain. So you must be the bandits I've heard so much about. I apologize, but I must ask all, to ask all of you to vacate the area. Herman, is that you? Iris? I never thought we'd meet in a place like this. The world is just as wonderful as you told me. Wonderful enough to choke on. So, oh, her body was always weak, but she must have had grown stronger than outside. Her face showed none of her old weaknesses. Well, none of her old weakness, it had been replaced with a dark smile and a sharp eye. Sharp eyes. Don't look at me like that. I'm actually enjoying myself. So much fun watching people suffering. Sherman, how will you entertain me? I couldn't accept someone like that as my sister, so I... My sister, maybe you can return to the same you once had. When you were home, for the rest of eternity. Oh, they turned her to a bandit. Hate me now. I can't judge you one way or the other. Only you really understand the situation. But you kill someone because of your own ego. That ego that rejects any all ego might care. This world will poison it. Now all I can do is watch from the sidelines. That was long as shit. Body got thrown. You look tired. I have seen true terror, mankind's real enemy. The cockroach was a formidable foe, but I somehow managed to get it. Now, how much longer are they going to make us wait? Why do women take their sweet ass time shopping? Proper etiquette for women to take their time shopping. It's proper etiquette for a gentleman to accompany me and wait patiently. Then I don't care if I go my whole life without ever being called a gentleman. You misunderstand. It's not that you have no interest in a gentleman. You're just incapable of being one. What? I could totally be a gentleman. I just don't want to. 
I put my mind to it, I can totally master the art of being a gentleman. You can't just master the art of being a gentleman. Every gentleman knows that. That calm attitude is really pissing me off. Tell me, you got any weaknesses at all? Straight to the point. I really respect your lack of subtlety. Not my style to beat around the bush. So, what are your weaknesses? Tell me right now. And what do you plan to do with such information? Tell the ladies, of course. And they got, they got, they get all hot and bothered around you. I'm just trying to tell them the truth so they can wake up from their fantasy. Fortunately, I have no weaknesses to this plate. If any, anything, a woman's tears can be considered my only weakness. You're such a good bastard. I'll let that slide just this once. You better watch yourself or I'll find your real weakness under your face. Whatever you like. No, it might be for your best interest to fix your own flaws rather than looking for others that don't exist. Burn. That took a really long time. You don't get much chance to shop. It only makes sense that it would take so much time. Check it out when we're showing a thing and smiling at each other. Right. Rare sight. They must have bonded it while they were waiting for us. Friendship is magic. Huh. 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 Oh, hell. Oh, he left. That's why. He has a great sword.
is for that one video. Uh, 26. 26 minutes. Okay, I need to fucking move. Alright, so we've got everybody in here. 